What is happening there, Reject Nation? Greg and John here today. We are going to watch a clip, I'm assuming is a fight scene, from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. It's called Scaffolding Escape. Figured this is our last opportunity to react to a clip where it could feel genuine. <laughs> <laughs> I know some other reactors who sometimes watch movies early in advance and then they still do reactions. It's not our style. Can't do it. Name <laughs> names. <laughs> I will Dude. not name <laughs> several people I can think of. We're going to watch this because we're supposed to go to the Shang-Chi premiere tonight. I'm actually going to pick up Cosmic One in just a couple hours from now from the airport. In the meantime, let's get to it. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, this. Oh. I have a lot of thoughts. I've got a lot of thoughts. I loved it. <laughs> loved it so much. It immediately brings me back to like a Jackie Chan fight yeah. scene of using like the props around you. Like I love the moment when he steps on the plank and then it flips up and hits the other guy. Mm -hmm. Or uses the one guy as a bridge. Using uh, the environment around you as uh, as a weaponry. Um, it, it feels like a really good fight because this is just a tease. Keep in mind, this is just like 30 seconds of one fight scene. So you gotta imagine what the whole movie might feel like. And we're gonna get such a wide variety of fights. We'll get the tournament matches. We'll get the final fight between the Mandarin and, and Shang-Chi, but for this group fight, a lot of the time that I think can go wrong with American cinema fight scenes is it feels like people are kind of just attacking one at a time, and especially with your Marvel lead, they can almost feel invincible. And what I loved about this, because I'm assuming this is rather early on in the movie, Shang-Chi is having difficulty. Yeah. He's not super powerful, heroic to the point where he seems indestructible or invincible or you can't land a hit on him. Like there's plenty of times where he's trading blows with the ninjas he's actually fighting with. And it does really have like a Jackie Chan-esque choreography to it. I think like for American audiences, the, the rush hour two fight scene with the <laughs> scaffold team might be one of the first things that comes to mind. Those are my favorite kind of action heroes. Like I feel like Jet Li, Bruce Lee often wouldn't get hit in a fight like this, mm -hmm. but actors like Jackie Chan would actually get uh, blows was landed on them and I thought this captured it very well so I'm like if this is just one fight just a little tease I feel like a lot more assured that this could be easily the best fight scenes in any of the MCU movies that's what I'm hoping for yeah I mean this you know if you go by the previous trailers context these are you know the Mandarin's you know task force or they're his you know team to go do stuff like this and so I feel like you kind of have to make mm -hmm. it a closer fight you know something to really at least justify you know the menace of the you know the forces that the Mandarin has at his disposal, but also then show you Shang-Chi's potential moving forward. That whole thing about, I told them they wouldn't be able to kill you. I'm glad that I was right. And uh, yeah, just looking at the cinematography too, like there are a lot of ways to approach a fight scene and this appears to be very kinetic, but also still fluid and clear enough that you can tell what's going on and hopefully appreciate all of the choreography. It doesn't seem like it's too much cutting, but at the same time, the visual language has a lot of energy and you can tell that there is a lot put into the camera motions to enhance you know, mm -hmm. those moments that are a little more Jackie Chan-like and that do borrow from the silent movies even that he was, you know, inspired by too. So not to say, like, this is going to be uh, fully that, but I feel like, yeah, all those kind of things are at play here in a way that makes the action especially seem super exciting beyond just like, oh, yeah. cool, whiz-bang, you know? Well, I believe Andy from Marshall Club, uh, the pretty much the lead of Marshall Club. If you guys haven't seen that channel, it's fantastic stuff. I know he's one of the characters in here. I, I don't remember which character it is. Is, and I'm not sure if his character's in this fight scene, but I know he's involved with the choreography of it. His biggest influence and biggest inspiration is Jackie Chan. Mm -hmm. So seeing the inspiration take place here is just even more evident. And that wasn't actually, I was expecting more of like, and I'm sure there'll be a variety of different kinds of fighting scenes, but this is more grounded level where Shang-Chi is just a regular civilian, which looks like San Francisco still. I feel like they're in San mm -hmm. Francisco probably. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know where they're at. Well, especially <laughs> I mean, if he has to like buy time for Aquafina, I would imagine that they're probably 
probably still somewhat close to home, you know, yeah. before they leave and go, you know, for the full adventure. Some people were, get, were thinking that they might be in Madripoor at one point in this movie, and there's something about, like, that Skyfall neon lighting that's kind of making you think about that. Yeah. But my, my point being is that I think why some of the, the stuff might look a tad bit off in this fight scene is because they are still dealing with CGI. They are still dealing mm -hmm. with visual effects. Can't go full Jackie Chan to the point where you're like, let's just bring a crane up here and only shoot there. Yeah, like they have to be this extra safe. And then yeah. with certain maneuvers, you can tell some of the ninjas are CGI and there's things in the background that are CGI. But for the most part, it still feels mainly practical and grounded for what we're getting. One of the most unrealistic parts of the fight because Shang-Chi, I don't know if it's gonna be in the movie or I thought it would be. I thought the director said it would be, but maybe I'm unsure, but he's not exactly only human because that's one of the main appeals about him is that he's a you know, master martial artist, the best martial artist in all of Marvel, but he's not only human to the point where he can't do some supernatural stuff. Like in the comics, he has this like cloning ability that he can do. I don't really know about enhanced super strength. There's the one part where he, the weapon shocks him. Yeah. And like, I feel like in, if this was a real life fight, obviously <laughs> that would have that would have go, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> would have fall. Some kind of yeah, adverse reaction. Sure, for the most part, it looks great. And uh, also, uh, you know, I want to get a better taste of what the score is before I'm like solid score. But I'm hoping that the the musical score uh, in this movie is because I, I like the way it sounded here. <laughs> I don't really have much thoughts on it, but you know the, the Marvel movies sometimes have incredible score and sometimes bland score. We'll have to see, but so for the most part, the score sounded pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Enhance the action. All right, guys. Well, Shang Chi: The Legend of the Ten Rings. Did you get your tickets already? I heard they went on sale today. Leave your thoughts down below. What did you think about this clip? Subscribe. Click that notification bell. Hit that like button. Last but not least. Fox, this was a kick-ass clip, and if there's anybody at our Patreon who could easily jump into a fight and kick an ass, I think that it's you. In fact, I want you to train me. I'm not very tough, and I'm not very buff, and so I think that you could get me whipped into shape to the point where maybe, just maybe, I could hold my own if attacked by an elite force of weapons carrying martial artists. That's right, Fox, you know a lot about fitness, but you know, we could take it to the next level, all right? We could become the heroes for hire this world deserves, you and me, all right? So uh, hit me up, return any of my messages. I don't know why you're still pledged and yet you're still ghosting me about this, but uh, we got some settles to score, scores to settle. You know what I'm trying to say. Fox, in seriousness, <laughs> really appreciate you. Been missing your comments lately, but very much happy that you're still part of our Patreon and hopefully we will talk again soon. Be well and all the love.